Question. Which is more harmful to the oceans? The United States nuclear tests in the Pacific or Japan's discharge of nuclear contaminant water? Fukushima nuclear plant. Fukushima water. Controversial radioactive water. Controversial release of treated radioactive water. Japan has begun releasing million tons of wastewater from the Fukushima into the Pacific. On August 24th, Japan began releasing tons of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant into the ocean. It raised concerns, and China has reacted strongly against Japan's action. The plan is uh, is safe from a technical and a scientific point of view, and there are uh, many equivalent situations that happen around the world. It does sound like a bad thing to do, but it's actually very safe. Japan's official has compared Fukushima's tritium emission to those from other nuclear plants worldwide. But are they really the same? After all, the Fukushima plant did experience the worst nuclear accident since Chernobyl in 2011. So what is the difference? The primary function of a nuclear plant involves circulating water that absorbs heat from the nuclear reactor, converting it into steam and drive turbines and generate electricity. The resulting vapor is then cooled by seawater in a separate loop, which transforms it back into liquid water. The wastewater discharged is mainly the seawater used for cooling, which is separate from the nuclear material in the reactor. However, at the Fukushima plant, the cooling water is mixed with the hypoxic material because the reactors are damaged. On top of this, there is about 100 tons of groundwater and rainwater which leaks into the reactor every day, and they are also contaminated. So these water contains not only a large amount of tritium, but also over 60 other radioactive substances. Including carbon-14, which is used for radiocarbon dating, but is also dangerous if ingested and can concentrate in the food chain. Cesium-137, which causes soft tissue cancer, Strontium-90, which causes bone cancer and leukemia, and then there's tritium. They can get rid of the vast, vast majority of these other elements, but tritium... So how does this process go? The Advanced Liquid Processing System is a key facility for treating nuclear contaminated water. It is like an oversized water filter. Ideally, it would be able to treat all radioactive materials except tritium to bring their concentration up to standard, like Japan said. But there are doubts. I think the most useful independent assessment has been conducted by several uh, very well-regarded international scientists in a scientific independent expert panel commissioned by the Pacific Islands Forum, who engaged in detail with the Japanese government, with TEPCO, with the IAEA, make it clear that we really don't know exactly what's in all of those tanks. Uh, it's likely very different in different tanks. We really don't know how effectively the ALPS water purification system will work to remove those many radionuclides other than tritium. え、トリチウム水というと入っているのはトリチウムだけだよと勘違いしてしまうんです。非常に悪質なプロパガンダと言えます。そもそもごく微量しか含まれていないんですと決めつけて測定しない、測定していない放射性物質もある。170近い放射
And it is important to note that the IAEA review is not an on-site inspection or an independent verification of the data. Rather, it based its assessment on the data selectively provided by Japan and they only sampled and tested water from three groups of their thousand storage tanks. It just represents 3%. Currently, the data is available on their website. However, it is limited to tritium levels and it is still provided by TEPCO. Given the company's terrible track record, such as the leakage of 20 to 40 terabecquerels of tritium from the power plant in the two years following the disaster, coupled with a lack of transparency on the residual contamination volumes, many scientists voiced their concerns. The U.S. National Association of Marine Laboratories stated their opposition to the dumping of contaminated water based on the fact that there is a lack of adequate and accurate scientific data supporting Japan's assertion of safety. Some experts argue that IAEA downplayed the risk from radionuclide, like carbon-14, which persists far longer in the environment compared to tritium. Robert Richman, a marine biologist from the University of Hawaii, reviewed all the data provided by TEPCO and the Japanese government and also visited the Fukushima site. He told the BBC, we've seen an inadequate radiological ecological impact assessment that makes us very concerned that Japan would not only be unable to detect what's getting into the water, sediments and organisms, but if it does, there is no causes to remove it. There is no way to get the genie back in the bottle. An article in Nature challenges the concept of dilution as a solution to nuclear pollution. These substances may be diluted in seawater, but it may also increase the concentration through bioaccumulation in marine food chain. As larger fish eat smaller fish, heavy isotopes can accumulate. The safety of the water in Fukushima depends on the authenticity of the data and the feasibility of implementing theoretical plans, the effectiveness and monitoring of the 30 to 50 years discharge, and whether the Japanese government and TEPCO can deliver on their promises. But even the Japanese are skeptical. A survey conducted by the Asahi Shimbun in August revealed that only 53% supported the plan, while 41% opposed it. There have been large-scale protests in South Korea, and other Pacific countries also do not support the plan. Despite the verbal support from the US government for the ocean discharge, they have reduced their imports of Japanese agricultural and aquatic products in the first half of this year. The reactors have not been fully stopped, and the TEPCO currently does not know the whereabouts of the melted fuel cores, nor do they have any plans to extract the reactors. This means that, theoretically, there is an infinite amount of nuclear contaminated water, and this is only the beginning. And that is all for today's Threshold.